This week, MEPs are taking a strong position to argue for fair and transparent corporate tax in Europe. The European Parliament's Special Committee on Tax has set out practical recommendations targeted at member states and multinationals. These will put an end to preferential tax deals, which, even where they are legal, are not necessarily fair. The European Parliament is uh, representing citizens and citizens cannot understand why they pay so much taxes and multinationals pay 1%, 2%. And what proposals have been put on the table? Legislation that uh, calls for a common base to calculate the profit, reporting publicly uh, how much profit is made by multinationals in each of the member states, issues such as a European regime to protect whistleblowers or a common definition of tax havens. One of the best ways to calculate the profits made by multinationals would be to oblige listed companies to publish details of their activities and the taxes they pay in each country they operate in. The economist Thomas Piketty welcomed the proposal on this from the Socialists and Democrats. I think that the publication of the pays by pays of the grand societies to see what they pay in the different countries can be a measure extremely important to go more transparency in Europe. En même temps, ça ne peut être qu'une étape. C'est-à-dire qu'à terme, je pense qu'il faut qu'on ait vraiment un impôt commun sur les sociétés, en tout cas sur les bénéfices des plus grandes sociétés en Europe, si on veut sortir de cette situation de, de dumping fiscal. In the meantime, MEPs voted today on a tax deals resolution which will clamp down on corporate fiscal fraud. Ce rapport, il est vraiment très important parce que depuis l'affaire Swiss Leaks et LuxLeaks, on vient de découvrir que Starbucks et Fiat ont reçu des aides d'État déguisées par notamment le Luxembourg et les Pays-Bas. Et donc clairement, on voit que tous ces rescrits fiscaux, ces rulings, ne sont pas juste immoraux, mais ils sont aussi illégaux. Hence the urgency of tackling the issue. As a first step, all deals, national and international, will be analyzed with no time limits. What else? Il faut évidemment plus de transparence, mais la transparence qui soit claire, précise et accessible pour tout le monde. Trois, il faut évidemment des sanctions. On sait tous que quand il n'y a pas de sanctions, on ne respecte pas les règles. Quatre, il faut évidemment que la Commission ait un rôle plus important à jouer. On ne peut pas être à la fois juge et parti. C'est ce que le Conseil veut. Nous n'en voulons pas. The Tax Special Committee has now invited a number of companies to share their views on their tax policies and practices on the 16th of November before the Parliament's final vote on corporate taxation. This will be a good way to identify who is willing to cooperate and who is not.